Hello everybody, welcome back. Tinker77 here. We are again on Full Craft. I want to say thank you for all the likes for the last video, even though I had some troubles. Um, I appreciate that. If you would take a moment, if you like this video, please just go ahead and hit that like button, spam it, whatever you want to do. Just uh, it takes a few seconds and it gives me some feedback, lets me know what I'm doing really well. What I want to show you though is uh, something I couldn't show in the last video. I had sorted out all the Hermitrons. So the A series are in purple or pink or whatever, and the B series are in the blue. And I put all the zeros, all the ones together through nine, all the way across. So this is where I'll keep Hermitrons to store them. Um, I believe it's maybe this one. No, this one here. You can see I have the mythic that we got in the last episode. So I'm missing one of the, the blue bordered, which is uncommon, and one of the greens, which is the rare. And if we get those, then we can put them into the uh, here, and we get on our scored board, which nobody's scored anything yet, so, you know, there's still a chance that we can be the first one. Anyway, I received an email from King Whalen, and he said that he is now the chicken master, that he's gotten all the chickens. And he said that I could come by and pick up some eggs for the things that I don't have, so we're going to do that right now. Let's go look at his, uh, his app operation. Okay, so up here, let's see what he's done so far. And I know this is his temporary base and that he will be making a, uh, another location sometime soon. There's his chest, his house, there's some of his uh, crafting abilities, and he looks like he has his smeltery and lots of different fruits, so he's collecting all those. That's kind of cool. But over here, uh, he made an airship too. Uh, over here, he has been collecting chickens, and look at these things. He's got an XP chicken, glowstone chicken, terra steel chickens. Awakened Draconium, Coal, Prismarine, Manialum, whatever, and looks like a string chicken. Excellent. So we can take some of these, and I probably will. I'll just take an egg from each of the types that we have here. So let's go look. Are there any eggs in here? Um, let's see. What's that? That's the um, XP chicken. Good. And a string chicken. We'll grab that. We don't have those, but I'll keep them so that he you know, doesn't lose out. Look at that, and they're all 10 tens. I think we already have glowstone chickens. Okay, we have here prismarine shard chicken and terra steel. That one will be really useful. And we also have awakened draconium and coal. We already have coal chickens. Okay, now he said in here not to mess up his sorting, but I could take eggs also. This is his other chest. So let's just figure this out here. Ardite. Let's get an ardite. We'll put that one back. Okay, uh, blaze rod chicken. Grab one of those. Blood chicken. We'll take one of those. Wow, I like his sorting. How he has them ready to go. I can't get a blue slime. I don't want to take his blue slime egg. We have bone white. I don't want to take his only egg or his chicken that's in there. So I'm gonna go cactus green. Do I have cactus green? I think I do, but I'll grab it anyway. Wow, there's just so many chickens. Cold chickens have those. Cobalt chicken. Wow. We have brown. I don't want to take copper yet because it doesn't have enough of those. We have diamond chickens. Uh, I believe we have emerald chickens, but we have emerald from our other farms. So we don't need that. Ender pearls we have. Wow, he is the chicken master. Flint and gas tier. Yeah, we'll take a gas tier. Uh, we have gold. Let's see, is there anything else here? Gunpowder chicken. We don't have one of those. And we don't have ink black. What's this? Iron chicken. Of course we have those. Lapis blue. Get that one. We have lava chickens. Lead. We'll grab one. Leather chicken. A leather chicken. <laughs> That's funny. Log chicken and magenta. So those are the spare eggs. So he should still have eggs of his own. So we just kind of raided his, uh, his little chicken area. But he has developed a great great chicken farm uh, and this is just his temporary base can you imagine what he's going to do when he gets going so again thank you king whalen this has really been helpful uh let me know if you need anything and i'll pay you back for it uh, when we can let's get back to our base back in the temporary chicken area we're going to start to set up some of these eggs i have a bunch of nests that we can use so let's just start doing this where'd they go i just had them you saw me have it i'm not sure why they disappeared uh, that's interesting. 
Where did they go? Okay. Well, let me uh go to try to relog and see what happens. I have no idea why, but it's there. So we're going to put down these nests. Let's close this door so they don't get out. And we're going to start putting eggs in here. Now, um, then once I do that, I'm going to set up some pens and things so we can start to get some of these eggs. So let's just start doing eggs. Let's see if it pops other ones in. Yay, good. Okay, so all the eggs we have in our inventory, we'll just go through. We're not going to have enough. Oh, did I just throw one of them? Darn it. I don't know which one it was. <laughs> okay, so we've got just two more eggs here. So that's they're going to start to uh, take some time to hatch. Meanwhile, what I want to do is I want to set up these uh, nine... Um, hatcheries or the pens. Okay, uh, let's put um, let's put this chest here. Uh, how am I going to get into looking at that? Okay, I'm going to no. I can put it in the center there. Hold on. Of course, it went into our big big uh, chest. I got to grab it. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put hoppers on a line coming out going into this particular like block, which will have the chest. Okay, so let me go get that. The pens are all ready to go. We have the hopper line going in and down into this chest here, and there we go. So when these start to hatch, I'll put some of those in there. The other ones that I can't put in the nesting pens, I will put over into this temporary chicken area. So now, uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do at the moment. Um, I would like to go look and see what Pause Player 10 has done. He's slowly working on a base. He doesn't have a lot of time to play, so when he does get on, he tries to work on the base, and we'll see what he's done. Let's go check it out. Over at Pause Player 10's base, it looks like he tried to make a, some sort of mob farm, maybe? And he has a chest here, and it looks like he's made a gigantic chest. This is probably a temporary chest, and this is his big one. Does this have anything in it yet? Yeah. Um, and he's working on, and this is kind of cool looking. It looks like it's a, he's making a room here for a smeltery. That's kind of cool. Um, I think his plan is that he wants to be able to look down into the smeltery to see the items being done. But I like this style. I like the way it has the the diagonals and the way the torches are on the, the square blocks in the center. I really like that idea. Looks really good. He's got a little bit of an area here that uh, I think he's going to be building something else. He's also got a way down into, I don't know where is it, but uh, down into his cave system. So he's working on it. Uh, I believe it's down in there. So he's got some neat things he's doing. Uh, he still just has to figure some stuff out. Like I said, his playtime is very limited. I also gave him my uh, four uh, uh, one million capacitors so they could use since I wasn't going to be using them anymore. So, yeah, it seems like he's doing okay. I came down to the XP farm, the mob farm, and I used some of the XP to get some levels. I turned on the device for a little bit and turned it off and watched some of the items come in. And I found this. It's a the pet loot bag. I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to put it right here. And I need to get a lock uh, for this. Let me go get the key really quick so we can lock it so that's where that will auto always go even when I take it out. So let's get the key. Come on. Key. Okay. We'll go back down and lock it in place. Okay. Lock this drawer. Okay, now let's grab this. Okay, so now you can see it doesn't have any in there. From what I understand, this is a bag that they've recently added. And what it does, and you can see that it even has a weird name, but um, the bag is supposed to give you one of the inventory pets. Maybe even our cloud pet. Let's take a look. What is this? A wither pet. Life steal 25% makes you immune to wither. That's pretty cool. So see, we got a pet. So if we ever see this bags, and we see that this has, has bags in it, uh, we can then get them. Okay. One of the things I think I want to do is I'm going to try to play around with changing these out. I like the circuit pattern. I'd like to make them look kind of similar or similar color instead of just being reg regular wood. So we're going to take a look and see what we can do. The first thing we're going to do here while we're upstairs is to make what's called a framing table. This is what you need right here. A framing table for storage drawers. Um, if you look here, it's made of various trim. Now, there is an issue that I've encountered. I have this trim in my inventory, and I'll show you that. But when I put the recipe in, it makes a helmet instead of a table. And I'll even show you that I've got the materials. So I've got birch trim. I've also got oak trim. So I have the materials, but the recipes that, I, that you put in here do not work currently in this version. I think I'm on version 1.2.2. So 
Uh, what to do? Well, I'm going to cheat, sort of. Okay. This is the item I need. Storage, storage drawers, framing table. So I'm going to use a command to give me that item. Obviously, I have the materials, and if the recipe was working, I would be able to make the thing myself. So it's not really cheating because I'm not. I do have it all, but I, because of this little bug, I'm going to just go cheat. So now, if we go in here and we do, I believe it's give the user, and then we have to type in what we need. And it's the, first of all, it's the set, it's not storage, storage drawers. And you put a colon, and it, I believe it's framing table. And there we go. So you didn't see that. Nobody saw anything. I just uh, <laughs> had to create the table. Now, what's interesting about this table is you have spots on this table where you take a drawer of what you want, and you put items for the front of the drawer, the outside of the drawer, and the edging. And it creates the thing that you want. So as an example, let's go up here. Let's grab a drawer. I have these are basic drawers. These are two by twos. And let's think I want, I, do I have the circuit blocks? We'll just start to do what I need here. I don't think so. Uh, factory. I have some of those. Let's see. What else would we like it to look like? Maybe some of the ceiling block. Um, I really don't care about the border um, because it's not going to be seen as much. I'll grab some obsidian just as an example. Okay. So you go on here. Here we go. You put on, oh, not that. It's not that. It's the other thing. Ha, ha, ha. It's a frame one of these. Let's put on this right here. Okay. I grabbed the wrong thing. Okay, here we go. So you put on your frame. Now, so it's not the actual drawer, it's a frame. Now you put the materials. I might, let's say I want to put, um, let's put the circuit block pattern on the outside and let's put this on the front and let's put this on the edge. And it would look like that. So you can kind of see the circuit pattern you can see the outside looks like obsidian and it has the drawer pattern. Now, I don't know if I want that or maybe if I want to invert it. So I'll go back and I'll say, okay, let's change this around. So I don't want it to be all circuity because then you, you lose the definition of what's there. I think it should really should, oh, I think it should be this way. So that way we still get the, the effect of the circuit pattern on the wall, but the drawers look a little different. And we could even try to make it a different resource here. Let's go back out to look at those factory blocks that we have. Or maybe like this. That's not a bad material. So let's go check this out. We'll put that there. See, you lose the definition of what the circuit pattern looks like. So that's not good. So you got to make something a little bit brighter, a little bit plainer, something to differentiate it out. Uh, I mean, like if I picked <laughs> sandstone as an example, it would be like that. And that's not a bad idea now that I look at it because look, the circuit pattern has like yellow. I really like that. So when you have that, then what you can do is you can grab it by going onto the table and going right here. I'm going to make four of them just to show you. Okay? And then you would have your, your, your drawers, and they look like that. And I like the way those look. So that's probably what I'm going to go with. So we're going to go downstairs. I'm going to start to put those into place, take out the old ones, put in the new ones, that sort of thing, and we'll see how it looks. And now for the big reveal with the drawers swapped. I like to look at that. It's got the yellowish color, but it's still got the circuit colors in it. It's looking really, really nice. I think it's really great. It took a while for some of these because of the stacks. I had to swap out inventories and had some uh, temporary chests to hold items and things. It took a little bit. But uh, we have a lot of stuff here. Look at all these um, bags we have here. We have 91 common loot bags. We have uh, 52 uncommons. And so what I think I want to do next, I want to see if I can develop some sort of loot bag combiner so that it makes um, bigger and better types of loot bags. So I'm going to see if I can do something like that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. There is something called a compacting drawer. So if I look this up real quick, compacting drawer, which looks like that. And it basically will compact stuff and it looks like I need pistons. It'll compact the items that we need into what we need and put them into it later on. That might be an option to use. I think there's also another way to do um, loot bag compacting. So I'm going to go do a little uh, research and I'll be back to, with figuring out exactly what we're going to do. 
So I think I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a crafter to craft the loot bags into the higher level. A crafter here. I'm going to go for this tier 3 crafter, okay? So what I need to do is to make that, it goes down, you got to make a crafting tier 2, and it makes a tier 1, and we're going to have this machine frame. So let's start to build this. Machine frame there takes that. Okay, we have it. Okay, so then we'll do the tier 1. We'll grab that. And we have that. Now we'll do the tier 2. We'll grab that. We have all the parts already, so that's good. And we have a tier 3. So that's what we have for the crafting of the items. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bag opener, which is this right here. Looks like it's just a test of stone and an ingot. And there we go. These two pieces will be very useful. The idea is that down here we will have, and I'll show you what I've done, we will have the bags will go into the crafter. Uh, I've opened this up so I can get around to the back side. And I ran a power line all the way down from our power storage because it does take power. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out of the, the drawers here into the crafter right here. It will have recipes built in to automatically compress the bags. And then we'll pass it into the loot bag opener. And then we'll just go back up into right about here or maybe over here somewhere is where the big chest is. And we'll just throw it all in there. So let's start this process. I'm going to put down uh, what I need to do and then we'll start doing the recipes. Step one is I've placed down the crafter block. And if you look at it, it has recipes you can put in and you, it, this is where it has items that are queued up. But you notice it takes power. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put power into it. So I have these power, ender, um, ender energy transfer conduits or ender, ender energy conduits. They have a max output of 20,000 RF. That should be plenty. Now this is going into here. Okay, and I'm going to run this line over to where we have power here, and then it should power up. Okay, so here we are, almost there. Excellent. Okay, now we just got to get out of this hole, and we'll see if this is up and running. And you can see it's got full power. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to get some recipes in here and get this working. I'm going to fill this back in, and then we'll, I'll show you how this works. Okay, now I'm going to program this with some recipes. I've already done the uncommon loot bag. So all you do is you click on here. So we're going to edit the properties for this recipe. Now this takes four loot bags. If you watch here, it makes that, right? And then we'll hit apply. That makes the rare loot bag. Now right here, we're going to do this recipe here. And this one makes, we take rare loot bags and that should make the epic loot bags. And if you can see, I can go, should be able to go back and see those. Uh... Not sure what's going on here, but this is how you make the recipes. I gotta make sure that they look right. Um, but that's what I'm trying to do here, as I'll do the epic loot bag, and then we'll do the other ones. Let me figure this out. I have something going on here. Um, figure out how what, what settings you need to do, and we'll be back. Okay, so here's the thing. If you go back and forth, it doesn't change this, but if you double click on it, it shows you what it is. So it actually did remember it. I did it right. So now we've done epic loot bags. So we're gonna do this recipe here. We're gonna do the epic loot bags. Which generate that, hit apply. Okay, so I can still go back and forth. You can see the colors changing. Now, I don't know if legendary goes to artifact. Okay, so we're gonna try that out. We'll try this recipe here. And now we have the legendary loot bags. No, so there's no way you can do those. Okay, so I'm gonna take those out. And that's about it for that. So now, what do we have to do? Well, we set these all to result of the operation will go to an output buffer. Okay, which is this area here. So now, if I hook up the output from these pulling out the bags into here, it should work. So let me think about how I'm going to do that next. Probably something to do with item filters going into here. So I think this will work. These are the three boxes on the, on the back side of them. This one has, we're going to put a filter on here. Uh, we're going to put a filter. We're going to allow basically any of the white bags or the green bags. And we're going to say always active. This one, again, we're extracting. But now this one is not white and green. It's um, blue and purple, which is the un rare and then the uh, epic. Okay, always active. And then this last one, uh, do we need to get anything out of it or not? Um, I'm thinking that yes, we do because we do legendary. Does that actually, I can't remember, did I say it doesn't? No. Whites go to the greens. Greens go to blue, blues go to purple. Okay, so probably not, no. Just the purple. So we don't even need this one right here. Um, so let me get rid of that. 
Okay, so we don't need that at all. And we're going to go into here like that. And this crafts up the items. I'm going to bring this device back one because those items that come out of here, I want to go into a different line right into the, the sorter or the opener, I mean. So let me back this up here. I hope it remembers the recipes. Let's see if it does. Let's put it back here. Recipes are intact. Okay. Now we'll just put the uh, power all the way up to it. Don't need this one here. A new one right here. No, don't do that. Um, let's see if I can get down to so I can see this here and make sure it's going in. Insert. Okay. So now we're good. Now that it has power, it's over there. So now I believe if those two are filtered, it should take it right into here. Oh, I fell down again. Darn it. Darn holes. So it should take it into here, and then this thing should go like crazy. Uh, let's see here. Um, and this is insert. Look at that. See, it's bringing stuff in, and it's making what it needs to do as far as this. I think this is like the output. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to go into this wall just a little bit. I think we have to go in a couple of blocks anyway. Okay, this will go into the loot bag opener. Can I configure this at all to where it goes? No. Okay, so loot bag opener, and I want to transfer out over to that. Okay, this one is extract always active. And this is insert. Now, just to see if this is working, um, does it have anything in here? Look at, see, it's opening up these bags. What I don't like is it's compacting, but then it's not re redoing the compacting. That's okay. We just compacted a little bit, but you can see it's opening up these these uh, particular bags. I'm gonna see if I can make this faster and see if I can get this to work a little better. Okay, we're back. I have the system going in, and what it's doing here, it's, it goes into the crafter, and I have back here an item that says, hey, if it's green, blue, or purple, run it back through. It goes right back into it, so it loops it around into there. If it is a legendary, it will then pop it out. So I should only see, let me grab it here. Where is it? There it is. The, the only the um, legendary bag is coming in. You can see nothing's in there. Insert. Okay, now is this thing ready to go? Is that this on always active? Wow, why isn't it opening? Did I mess something up? Oh, did I get all the bags already out? <laughs> did I run out of bags? I don't think so. Let's see here. 36 and 53. So there's plenty of bags. So it should be running. So why isn't it running is the question. Um, would it be that this is broken for some reason? Uh, let me get rid of this piece right here and hook it back up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me through. There we go. Okay, so why isn't it? It looks like it's got stuff ready to go. It's not pulling out. Okay, it is always active. Allow legendaries. And this is insert always into that. This is take out, extract, always active those, and throw it into here. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Let me try to figure this out. Everything looks right. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I took one item out and it, look at that processing. See, it's building up more and more bags as it goes. But if you look here, it's only legendary bags. And it's getting a lot of stuff that's coming through. Okay, it's filled up there. And this one's probably waiting on more bags. Is it ready now? Did it process all those bags already? Let's go look. No common, no uncommon. All the bags have been pulled out except for the legendary bags, which I'll come and get manually or a pet bag when I see them. But basically, it's all gone into here. Okay? So now what I want to do is I want to go up into the chest that we have. 
the big chest and just throw stuff up there. So let's look mine upward. And that should be underneath the chest. Let me make sure. Let's go up there and look. Oh, come on. So go through there. Okay. Excellent. So now what I can do is I can put in a colossal chest interface. And we'll put an item here. That's one of those. And we're going to say insert. And now we can just have to go down and plug into the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the loot bag opener. There we go. And this is extract, always active. And you can see it pulls the items out. And as soon as the loot bag is opened, yep, that works great. You can see it's pulling everything out. Superb. So in essence, if I go back over here and we start up the farm, it should, should be an operative word there, as items are flowing in, and I'm just to make sure I'm going to break this one that's right here just in case. Because I don't want to make sure it's still running. Just in case. I want to make sure the system works. Okay. So loot bags should come in and we should see this operating. See, there's some bags in there that came in. They weren't there before. So as soon as they pop in, there's another bag. As soon as it gets anything that it can craft, it should craft it out and send it across. Nothing yet there. I don't see anything of four of anything. See, it's working. So this will run all the time when the farm is running. It will start to, wow, look at all that made a legendary. It's over here. It probably just opened up, and it's already gone. So this will just automatically start opening up all of our loot bags. Now I'm going to try to seal this off, make it look pretty probably off camera. But that seems to work really, really nice. So now we can go back in there. Eventually we'll have lots of stuff stacked up in our mega chest of stuff. So I think this has been great. It's a great addition to the uh, system. So let me turn this off and turn this off. Oh, let's run it for a little bit. Okay, now I'll turn it off. Let's go make sure everything's dead. Yep, everything's dead. Okay. So I think that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Hope this helped you to make new drawers and to work on bag uh, opening, automatic bag opening and storage. So I think that's going to be great. Let's look at the power real quick. Are we down any power? <laughs> no. That's awesome. Okay, so anyway, thank you for joining me today. I am Tinker77. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you uh, have any comments, put them in the comments section. I love reading the comments. I try to respond as, to every comment that I get. Also, if you'd like to be uh, notified of any videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. That's about it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.